Esta rueda de prensa tendrá dos momentos. Inicialmente, la vicepresidenta y ministra de Igualdad, First, Francia Elena Márquez Mina, the vice president and minister of equality and equity, Francia Martínez Mina, will give a statement on the objects and scope of the visit of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Later, we will have space for three questions from the press who are here joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President and Minister of Equity and Equality, Francia. Good morning, Colombia. Greetings to all the people. And a very, very special greeting to all the um, communication people who are here, the press. I call this press conference to give you some information too that are very important. The first one has to do with, I want to let you know that through our leadership, we have achieved that the United Nations approve a resolution that every July 25th will be the International Day of Women and Girls of African Descent. From this day on, every July 25th, the, we will celebrate this day. The country will convene academic, um, have an agenda which will translate into public policies for the integral development of children. And what, and this, this will, this will undoubtedly contribute to the restoration of, of, of their dignity, the recognition of their contribution in the world for peace and equality and social justice. Secondly, I want to inform you that Colombia is the country of beauty and is hosting a very special visit starting today the to welcome Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This is their first visit to Latin America. The purpose of the visit is to build bridges and open doors that allows us to join forces to make visible and address a problem that today concerns all humanity. Cyberbullying and vi violence in the digital environment and discrimination. Issues that put the mental health of everyone in the world at risk. Without a doubt, this alliance will allow us to advance in the in the protection and guarantee of the rights of girls, adolescent, adult, ad, ad, adolescents, boys, and and young people. It also seeks to promote women's leadership in Colombia and in the world. The visit was made possible by an invitation we extended to Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, last year. From today until Sunday, we will be visiting Bogotá, Cartagena, and Cali, where we will have meetings with young people, women, social leaders, and um, people from the community. During this visit, we will have exchange of experience on, on what Colombia has been doing to prevent cyberbullying and violence in social networks. We, we will also learn about educational processes that are being recognized in, in the world. In, in tie, um, meant to protect and guarantee the rights of children and young people, as well as cultural exchanges with young people who, from, from art and culture, are, are, are betting on the peace of our nation. In addition, we will have a very, very pleasant meeting with the Colombian team, which participate in the Invictus Games for veterans and victims of war. Created 10 years ago by Prince Harry, Colombia is the only country in Latin America that participates in these games. We, we are preparing for the next competi competitions, which will be in February, 
from the 20th to the 25th in Canada. We thank Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, for their visit to our country. Likewise, I want to take advantage of this to to say to the national and international media to invite the world to visit our country. Colombia is a Colombia is a country with an enormous cultural richness, with a unique biodiversity, and with and with people um, who are empowered and people who want to get ahead and and move forward. Colombia. Um, Colombia is, is a country of beauty that wants to do and host the best and will be the best. From this very spe special visit, I thank you all for being here, for having attended this call, um, for attending this press conference. We look forward to seeing you all um, to give visibility to those that need that visibility. Um, to have a beautiful exchange between us all and the exchange of experiences that we'll have with young people and with children. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Vice President and Minister of Equity and Equality. We will call now from, we will call um, pa Paula um, San Miguel, who is a representative from Hola or Hello in Spain, London, and, and the United Kingdom, and then the US, sorry. Good morning, Vice President. I'd like to ask you where the in how did you initiate it on on who initiated the on part um, to invite the Duke and Duchess uh, duck, the duck, sorry the Duke and Duchess. Um, last year we held a meeting in the framework of the commemor commemorative of July 25th, which is the day of Afro-descendant women. This has already been done for about 32 years. Women have been celebrating every year their struggles, their contributions to nation building. Afro-descendant women at, at the meeting, we wanted to invite uh, Megan. She is an Afro-descendant woman to participate in the meeting that we had so that she can talk about her experiences. It was a meeting that was attended by women uh, from Latin America, the Caribbean, Europe, and Africa. We sent, at that moment, we sent her a letter inviting her. She replied to the letter saying that she couldn't, but she wanted to come very badly and she would love to come and visit the country. From that day on, we've been working very tirelessly and eager to make sure that she would come and visit the country. It's been a year since since then. For this achievement of this important visit, I saw the series on Netflix about what what Har Prince Harry and Meghan were going through about their life. I was so moved by her experience, something I can identify with. And I think it's very powerful that women in this country also will be able to identify with it. And I think that she deserves to come to our country to tell her story and to exchange without a doubt. Oh my God, I'm getting emotional. Um, to, to strengthen um, women like us around the world. Madam Vice, Vice, Vice President, good morning. One of the themes that you'll be touching on is cyber bullying, racism. Can you comment on how you've been targeted and tell us a little bit about your experience and how you've been in government for two years now and what kind of experience you've, you've had? Well, I'll, I'll tell you that I've, I've, experienced experience, I've experienced racism since I was a girl, since I was a little girl. I, I'm, I'm no stranger to, to discrimination and, and racism. But I started to realize it more strongly when I became, when I was 13 years old. I started to raise my voice against things that I saw that were, that were wrong. Together with my community, 
And from there, I began to feel the differential treatment of my, of my, of my community and of my people. From the moment my community started to raise its voice and I was encouraging people to raise their voice, I have not stopped from that day on, making injustices visible. Since then, my fight for social justice, for human rights, for the environment, for peace, and for human dignity has, has, has been permanent and will never change. Yes, I came here with an agenda. And to say a little in the campaign that, that was run, I was told that I should not bring up racism at all because racism will not give me any votes. And I said I couldn't win. They said I couldn't win and get votes. The problem is silencing me um, would affect the society, saying that I wasn't discriminated against. Without a doubt, it's neither my family nor did I stay quiet. My experience has shaped me and I will always talk about it. Cyberbullying is a problem, not just racially driven, but also because of gender issues or political issues. For women today in politics in the world, we expose ourselves to a level of violence on social networks that affect our being. What affects, uh, and it affects our, di our, our dignity. And without a doubt, it is only, it's not only women that suffer from this, it's concerns about cyberbullying and hatred on social networks. Everyone suffers from, from, from it. Today, I have the uh, expressions of, of, of violence. They have affected ch ch children and adolescents. You asked me about my experience this, this year. Well, they have um, made much more, they've made me more sensitive um, because I've had to face this situation at a higher degree. I have seen reports, even investigations that have been done by the media and other institutions in the past two years that we've been in government. In short, I'll say to you, I've received on average more than 12,000 attacks on me, on my person, race, race, oh, she's getting emotional. Um, racism on social networks and it's, and it's all evidence of a job that I, I there, there is not, nothing that, that I can really do ab ab about it. But what we have to do as a society, as a country, as humanity, is, is, is to make that change. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vi um, Vice President. To close this press conference, uh, we'll go to Marco Vergara of Red Mass Noticias. Vice President, good morning. Um, Marco Ver Vergara from Red News. A brief history. In 1997, um, gave her. Oh, um, Princess Diana was invited to Colombia by the First Lady at that time. Unfortunately, due to um, her un un unfortunate death, she couldn't visit. Today, the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex are, are going to be here. So in some way, in this strange way, they are fulfilling an appointment that was pending. As I think about 25 years later, how do you think our country can take advantage of this visit that is finally taking place? Well, I think that everyone lived the story of Princess Diana. Yes, the world saw the story, the harassment, the bullying, and how painful it must have been for her and for many women in the world who go through this kind of stuff as we are exposed. 
We are exposed to those scenarios because we occupy space and people don't want us to occupy space. I believe that Prince Harry is here today. After that dream that we had of having his mother visit our country, he is here. We know that she, she wanted to visit the country and we will show Prince Harry how beautiful Colombia is, how beautiful our people are, that in the midst of any adversity, we can overcome. We will do our best so that this visit goes very well and we show the best of our people, the best of Colombia. This is a big opportunity for us so other nations also can see how beautiful our nation is. Thank you, Vice President. Oh, I've, I've got to say, I am, I'm actually quite emotional. <laughs> um, that was beautifully said. Okay, I'm going to stop this and just post it. <laughs>